Okay. <laughs> Dude, First what, of all, what how happened? are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What happened to you, man? I mean, I realize I'm overdressed. How about being underdressed? I mean, like I got know. the hair, I got the hair flying. Dude, you look it's, like you just ran into it's, someone just knocked you over or something. Yeah. What happened? No, I mean, it gets a little, it gets a little crazy out here in the suburbs. I was out there doing some lawn work, ran into really? this huge rattlesnake that I put on, <laughs> that I put on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, come on. What do you mean? You, you really? Well, come it wasn't on, exactly a rattlesnake. It was, you know, more like a little, one of those garter, guard, guard, really? or, or garter, a gar snake garter, snake. garter snake, as opposed to a, a garter yeah, but you know, with the, Hold with on the a beauty second. of you cinnamon found a, now. You, act, you found a snake. You, you actually were. Yeah, I had a, I had a, I had, a, I needed the hose for something, not to get into great detail and bore Whoa. the, you know, what out of you, but I needed the hose. So I reached down to pick the hose and there was something moving on my hand and I looked down <laughs> and it was this. Did snake. you squeal? Did you squeal? No, no. Come I on. didn't know what it was. I'm telling bit. you. No, I'm not uh, a, no, nah, you know, I'd be, I'd be honest with you if I did. It's I not, you know. I would have tried to uh, domesticate that, that I, and I realize a lot of people are going to add me on this one. People hate me already. Um, I actually had a, I had a snake at Georgetown. I had a pet snake. I had a, sure I had you a, did. I had, I had a Burmese python, um, uh -huh. and uh, whose name was Josie Wales. And and we'd have once a week we'd have feeding parties where we drop, you know, we drop like a, a hamster in there. And I, again, I know people are horrified yeah. right now, but it's that's what so, we did. It's, it's we, so we wrong six pack on, of beer. On, on, on a multitude of different levels, but I think the statue is wrong. All right. So look, Burmese Python, notwithstanding. Yeah. Um, and, but actually this sort of plays into what I'm about to ask you on this okay. day in 1948, Stephen Tallarico was born. Does that mean <laughs> anything to you? Um, I, yeah. I mean, that's, Steven Tyler, man. There I mean, you go. And, there and, you and, go. And, and, and I wouldn't have known that if you'd asked me the question, um, what's his what's his real name? But it's close you backed enough. Into it. You backed I, into it. I backed into it. You love Smitty. Um, I don't like Smitty. And um, and and Steven Tyler, uh, look, he's got his place in, in rock and roll history. There's no question about it. I mean, he's he's the American Mick. Right. I mean, it's, if there was ever he, a guy that's that true. wanted to be another guy. Um, it was Tyler wanting to be met. I'm sorry. I know it's aggressive. You, uh, listen, I, I, I think you might not like the band. And I can I understand. I mean, th listen, we talked about the other days, Toys in the Attic. You could stop after Toys. But I guess yeah. what I was saying to you, in terms of a front person, he's up there. Man. Just his, his, Look, he's got his dynamic he's, way, his chemistry, his, his aura. Yeah, he's, he's got game. He's got game. Um, he, uh, uh, I mean... I, I, I think he, he made the band half of what it was because I think actually, you know, Joe Perry of it, it, people wouldn't know the Joe Perry project if it hit him over the head, but Joe Perry, of course, um, is a decent guitar player and, uh, Aerosmith, look, Aerosmith, but you're talking about guys who changed their name for rock there and roll. There you go. There and, you go. And there's a pretty decent list in there. I mean, and why wouldn't there be? Um, I, I think, I mean, Axl Rose is not Axl Rose. I, I, think I would, like, I would like to think that he was I not, think he, yes, born Axl. I think, I think he, I don't know why I want to say Bill Bailey. Um, uh, but, but probably, I think one of the most famous musicians of all time. Um, who do you think I'm talking about? Who, who absolutely not his name. Absolutely uh, not his Bob, name. Well, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. I'm Robert in Zimmerman. Head. I'm in Robert, your head. Is he not, well, yeah, in a good way. Um, and, uh. So Robert Zimmerman, uh, a.k.a. Bob Dylan. Um, let's see. Who else do we have here? Um, David Bowie, as, as Lukey told us. Lukey, Lukey works with us every day for the last six months. I mean, yep. he was David Jones. And, of course, he couldn't be Davy Jones because Davy right. Jones was busy doing Brady Bunch episodes. He was doing Brady Bunch episodes. Can you name... You know, Brady Bunch we, trivia, you got to be careful because we could go down a, a slippery road there. I could ask we've you done five it. sports stars that we, have been on the, the Brady that. Bunch. Commercial break audience, if you want, hit us back and, and tell us the five professional sports stars that actually were on the Brady Bunch. And, and I thought you say, you know, Davy Jones, obviously of the Monkees fame, and everybody knows that actually, um, what are the two things that everybody knows about the Monkees? What would you say well, is, is Monkees trivia? Come I on. mean, the monkey's trivia is Michael Nesmith's mother right. <laughs> created liquid, liquid paper. paper. Liquid paper. Which is I mean, just it's, it's genius. Almost, 
it's almost like the but is it even true it's almost yes. like you know Mike it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent true ate pop rocks and drank a six pack of coke and his stomach blew up so i mean you know but that all right so so and then the other one is that um peter uh so Peter Torque, Peter was Torque actually, recently was the, passed away, I think, yeah. was the only musician in the band, um, actually. And he the, the problem with Peter Torque is he 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 likened himself to be, you know, part of the he, he kind of lost his cool factor in that. I mean, think think about the, the time that the, the monkeys were being made. Um, this was you know, a critical. It was a really important time. <laughs> in 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 the, the laurel county spots and up and up north and and peter torque was not taken he was laughed at by his peers because of the monkeys and that these guys weren't but anyway so why are we talking about the monkeys oh davy jones davy jones was, david bowie was, see the rabbit holes david. we go down by the way right. um yeah quickly the other piece of monkeys not that we necessarily wanted to do this but they they got to believe their own bullshit and they wanted more money. And the producer of the show said, you want more money? Watch this. And the Archies, which sang right. the song Sugar, Sugar, they were cartoon characters. He's like, I can replace you with cartoon characters. So the Archies well, they, were a replacement for the monkeys. Go figure. Well, they were like they were like the, the first boy band, right? I mean, so, you know, it's kind of like NSYNC, you know, that video where they're like puppets and stuff. You know, your boy Timberlake. I know you're a huge fan. I, I know. I, I, no, can I say something? I got, you make I fun of me. For, I got a lot I got, of time for I got JT. Time for, no, I got time for JT. I mean, he likes barbecue too. So think of companies uh, in the market that have either changed their name because right. it made a lot of sense uh, based upon PR nightmares, or um, we think... They should. Now, I'm going to lead off because I asked the question and it's easier for me to go with one I have in mind. Uh, the most obvious one, Altria. Look okay? at you. Um, so, you know, going from uh, the, the Philip Morris nightmare um, and, you know, going from a place where obviously, it, you know, uh, whether it's tobacco settlements, whether it's perception and, and an ability also to kind of remake the business model while obviously uh, the, the legal battles ensued so so Altria is one um i can think of this one i never understood um when coach turned to tapestry mm -hmm. i mean I, I, that that's happened in our time on fast money i mean that <laughs> happened a few years ago um and i i don't like either i mean i kind of like coach when i think of coach man i think of a nice leather you know fine something right um maybe that's the I, problem I, I, I think that's a problem, and I hear you on that one. The one that I think of, you know, companies that felt like they were siloed, for example, Weight Watchers went to WW. I mean, good for them. Restoration Hardware, isn't re we talk about it all the time. I still call it yeah. Restoration Hardware. They're RH. So I think for some of these companies, they feel like they're too, they don't want to be in just one vertical. They want to sort of do this type of thing, which is interesting. I happen to think that General Electric should just call it a day and, and and come back yeah. with another name because I think you know the die's been cast with that one in my opinion. Die's been cast, and there's nothing about their business where that makes sense. General Electric at one point, I mean, these guys were making light bulbs, and they were they were clearly that's what they were. I mean, they were involved in light appliances and things for the home and the association of of. No, I I, I agree with that. Um, I think you you could make an argument that that uh, I I don't know. In fact, there's another throw to the audience here is what would you rename general electric uh, there you I, go I don't know. put that out what, there and listen we got to get out of here i would say you know the dichotomy between you looking all knotted up and just good and you know yours truly which is wow. yeah. Wow. yeah i mean that's you know maybe maybe i should think of a change here as well i mean you know you you've inspired me to maybe start thinking of a bit of a not necessarily a name change but just an overall you know change sometimes change is good Ch change is good um changes by bowie speaking of, of davy jones um don't like it and, and the the worst song um i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna drop this into your head and it's gonna be there all weekend because it's not gonna be built the city on rock and roll that's not fair but i'm gonna throw suffragette city at you oh. and you're gonna hate me forever buddy uh and you know what take this out against the snake in the yard and uh be safe out there see you later